Describe what a typical week looks like. Uh, so a typical week, uh, right now I'm working for Clover Pop, my startup in San Francisco. On Mondays, I go into the office. I will ride my bike to the BART station, get on BART, do some work while I'm on BART, uh, then get into the office. Uh, our office is at The Vault, which is a co-working space that had a whole bunch of different startups there. I think like 40 different startups. Um, we'll have a meeting and then we'll go to lunch together. Um, I usually work at the vault until four o'clock and then I'll take the bard back home, relax for a few hours, hang out with, uh, with Ryan and Sieta, and then I'll do some more work in the evening. Um, and then usually a couple days a week I work from home at least. Uh, when I say work from home, usually that means I'll work in the morning and then I'll get on my bike with my laptop. I'll go to a coffee place, have lunch, go to a coffee place and work there for a few hours. Just a way to kind of get out and get some exercise and, and uh, see something interesting. Um, yeah. What do you like to do for fun or hobbies? Probably my biggest hobby right now is riding my bike. I'd love to explore. Uh, just there's a lot of great trails around here. And so it's, it's really nice to um, like think of a small, a, a canoe coffee place in a, in a town nearby, get put in my laptop and my, uh, my Chrome bag, and then just head out there. Uh, so I like to, to kind of combine my work with, with exploring the local area. What is the best memory from the last couple of years? Huh, so I think like, the startup Clover Pop has been really amazing and every year we get together and have like a big dinner uh, and my co-founders um, and my work partners uh, will cook, you know, some really great food. Um, and those have been really memorable because uh, we meet at Eric's house in Tiburon. He's a fantastic cook and sometimes Ron will bring, my brother will bring some amazing dish that he makes. So that's been pretty cool. Um, of course, uh, family vacations have been really epic. You know, we went to Barcelona and Paris this last time. That was really cool. Uh, but I think as far as like the, the area around here and some of the memories, I think just my coworkers, um, you know, going to microbreweries, um, also going on really cool bike rides with uh, Ryan and Sieta, like uh, sometimes we'll go down to Monterey or we'll go to um, uh, Marin and bike along the trails. So I really like to bike, so obviously that's one of my favorite memories. What do you like about our life in Pleasant Hill? Well, the weather here is fantastic and it's really, really great for doing outdoor things. Uh, you know, we can go get outside all year round, which is not, which is a little bit unusual to the rest of the world. Uh, and usually, unless it's raining a lot, which doesn't happen too often, we can we can go out and, and get exercise, which is really nice. And it's also very beautiful and scenic here, um, aside from it being comfortable weather. Describe what a typical week looks like. So usually on a weekday, I would get up, have breakfast, do a little IMUV or scratch while I'm waiting. Like in, at about 7, 20, 7, 30, I would probably head to school. Then at about 5 to 6, I'd get picked up from the YMCA. Then we would head home. I would do, I would do my homework, listen to music. Then I would do a little scratch or IMUV waiting for dinner. And when dinner's ready, I would eat it, and then do my time, internet time, and go back to my MacBook and do some more editing or scratch. And then after that, then I would like basically go to bed after that. Maybe have a little snack while I'm doing that. On a weekend, I would go, I'd wake up, do some time, do like, like an hour or maybe a little more than that, then 
until mom gets back, go, mom gets down, then I'll have breakfast, and then the day will just go on like that. What do you like to do for fun and hobbies? What I'd like to do for fun, definitely video, video editing and production. I really like to do that. It just makes me feel good to post something out there and see how it does. I make sure to not post crappy videos with like zero, like five, 500 resolution. I make sure to use pretty good cameras so I at least get some credit for actually making good videos. Also, I really, I get, I started to like to ride my bike a lot more. Like I remember riding around the complex a couple times this morning and yeah. What's your best memory for the last couple of years? Yeah, that's a tough one. Probably like summers. All, every single summer has something to be right, to remember from. Definitely last year's summer was was a time to remember. I got to see a lot of my friends at school at, or at the Y that I don't really get to see that often, like Enrique and Dimitri. They're all pretty good friends of mine, but they're not, they're in middle school right now. I don't get to see them that often. Also, like also last year summers, I would get to go to the pool. All summer I get to go to the pool. It's always fun. I have a pool party, I have my birthday. It's always fun. What do you like about our life here? We definitely like that. It's not too not too remote, no nor very populated. It's a nice city to kinda of raise a family or get or retire. It's just a nice city. Also, the school here is pretty good. I'm not talking about Sequoia or Pleasant Hill or Pleasant Hill Elementary. Those are eh, not, not too good. But uh, Strandwood's definitely looking for uh, elementary. Definitely Strandwood is good. I have a lot of friends there. Most, ironically, most of them aren't even my grade. Like there's Andrew, Fish, and and Ryan, other Ryan in fifth grade, and in lower grade, the Shugo and Dexter. And definitely in my grade, I have some best friends like Rainer and Camilo. My best best friends are Max, Jacob, and Marco. I always spend time with them. So, yeah. Well, describe what a typical week looks like. The typical week for me, um, during the work week, Monday through Friday, I, um, in the morning, I do my little workout, a little meditation, and, you know, breakfast, of course, and then um, I do some work. I work from home, mostly. Uh, I'm a freelancer uh, doing marketing projects, and also I'm doing uh, some entrepreneurial projects on the side, and it's really fun. So I do that, um, you know, Monday through Friday during the day and also I really like riding my bike to downtown Pleasant Hill to go to a coffee shop and have some tea in the afternoon maybe meet with friends and I also like going to San Francisco sometimes um, I used to work in San Francisco and I went two or three times a week now I like going occasionally um, I have some friends that I meet with for coffee or lunch or after work, so that's that's also really nice. Let's see, um, so that's during the week. Also, I really love going for a walk around here during the day, like in, in the midday, to get some fresh air, and it's so beautiful here, especially right now. Everything is in bloom, and just all these amazing colors, and furs, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous here. Okay, and then um, in the evening, I like spending time with my husband, Roger, and my son, Ryan. And they're both really fun and awesome people so that makes me happy and also in the evening I like doing some stretching and yoga so also fitness is really nice on the weekend uh, also some fitness and we meet with friends and we have conversations with our family in Ukraine and um, sometimes we cook and eat together here at home or we go out to eat we ride our bikes when the swimming pool opens, we'll be going to our swimming pool to swim. And um, yeah, so that's it.
for the week. What do you like to do? What do you like to do for fun slash hobbies? Uh -huh. So for fun, my favorite thing for fun is Latin dance. Salsa and bachata. Bachata is the Dominican Republic dance. And it's really awesome. I love the melody of it. It's so smooth and I love it. And I have a friend whose name is Claudia. She's from Uruguay. And she is my dance partner. Like we go dancing together. And we have this place in San Francisco that we like going to. And this other place is closer that sometimes I go to with um, other friends. And that's my favorite thing to do for fun, dancing. Also, I like singing. I used to take voice lessons and it's really good too. It's, um, I like developing in this way. Also for fun, playing with Ryan. It's fun playing games. We have a bunch of games that we play and riding bikes is nice. Um, together as a family, going on bike rides is super fun and also like trips going on, um, even like smaller trips um, like um, you know to Monterey for instance uh, and of course bigger trips is also super super fun. Also I like meeting with friends and touching base. I'm a very social person and I really appreciate my friends and meeting with them. Um, so that's my favorite things and reading. Oh my gosh, I love reading, mostly nonfiction. I love that, and also playing the piano. Sometimes I like when I feel like it. Yeah. What is the best memory from the past couple of years? Oh, several. So um, my favorite memories are probably our trips. So if we're talking a couple of years, um, like the latest two trips you know, that we made, um, the one was to France and uh, Barcelona, that was so extraordinary, oh my goodness, it was so amazing, those two countries and places were so different, and so incredible in their own way, I've been dreaming, I had been dreaming of going to Paris for probably like 20 years, and I finally, we were able to go together, and I saw all those places that I knew so much about, and like the Notre Dame, and uh, also it was my one of my biggest dreams to go to Musée d'Orsay, which is the Impressionist exhibition, and I was able to do it. I was able to see all those paintings there. It was just surreal for me. And so that was really special in itself. And then when we went to Barcelona, I did not have any expectations. I didn't know anything about Barcelona when we came. And that completely blew my mind. That place is like a hug. It's like a warm hug from somebody who really likes you, like you're a really good friend. It's beautiful and it's, the weather, it was awesome. And the people were so kind. We met an elderly couple at the airport and then a few days later, they invited us over to their house for dinner. <laughs> Spectacular. And like, we met so many amazing people and saw so many amazing places. Like, every day we did something extraordinary. And I, I am lacking words to express how amazing it was. It was just, I'm in love with Barcelona, in love with Barcelona. And also another trip that we took the summer of last year, it was, uh, we spent some time in Italy and Ukraine and Rome specifically was also such a, a discovery for me. Again, I didn't expect much and it was so amazing. It was beautiful and so, naturally profoundly historic like around every corner there is some medieval chapel and we had some amazing food and ice cream gelato and also amazing people and we were only there for two three days and that was enough for me to really 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 love it what do you like about our life here in Pleasant Hill what I like about our life here I really like that it is very beautiful, very beautiful around here. And there is the canal trail and even our complex here, there's so much greenery and I love my walks every day. I, I go usually once or sometimes even twice. 
and it's just gorgeous and it's quiet and peaceful and calm and safe i really appreciate it like sometimes i forget to close the garage door you know when i go for a walk and then uh, i'm not worried that bikes are gonna get stolen or something like that because it's usually pretty safe knock on wood so that i love i love that the school is really close by that ryan can walk or ride his bike by himself and uh, i love that there's friends like from school that are close that it's easy to get together for play dates and i love our um, swimming pool and i love that there's downtown pleasant hill that's really easily bikeable that we can hang out there and go to coffee shops and you know um there's a couple of restaurants and also i like that san francisco is close that we can easily ride bikes to the bar station take the bar and go also there's a, other awesome places not too far um from where we are like three hours or even less is monterey and carmel and then if you really want to you can go to the beach um or lake tahoe we don't usually go to lake tahoe but we could and um yeah so it feels very central and of course oregon is close and you know nevada and all these other states and it's just easy to travel from oakland airport or um san francisco airport so it's just a really really nice place and lots of smart people that driven